Hey guys, I'm Chris with Palmer Aquatics and today I want to show you how to set up an aquarium heater. I know that this probably seems super basic to a lot of you guys, but I do get a lot of questions on how I set up my aquarium heaters and I think it's just uh, wise to do a video on this. So first of all, always buy a heater with a thermostat on it. You know, the some of the smaller heaters come with like zero thermostat. Actually, I think I have one right here. Um, a lot of times it's for a smaller tank. Here's one right here. See, like this heater right here, it's an all-in-one, uh, essentially you plug it in and do nothing. These things are known to fail. And that being said, these, these even fail as well. So heaters are probably the scariest thing in this hobby that you got to be careful with. If you want my honest opinion, spend a couple extra dollars in getting a decent brand heater. I like, my favorite ones are the, are the Eheims. These things are just bomb. They're overpowered. They're trustworthy. I love them. But anyways, when you buy the heater, chances are you're going to want to set it uh, at the top of it. Usually the thermostat is at the top. Some of the newer ones have a digital thermostat. I love those styles as well. But um, usually they come with like a little bracket that holds the heater. And the question comes into play, um, you know, how do I situate the heater in the tank? Do I need to have all... Look at this cat. He's just he's going in the water like do you have to be doing this during a video bud <laughs> look at this yeah it's an animal king over here right now so um in my honest opinion technically you only have to have the heater like submerged to like here the heating element is down here but what i tend to do is what i tell people is to try to get this near the flow in your aquarium because these things are most efficient it, near the flow because if, if you think about it this is a heating element inside the glass. That's what an aquarium heater is. And having flow moving the water around it is more efficient than just stagnant water sitting there and reheating the same water. All right, Wes, you gotta get out of here. You gotta get out of here, bud. We're in the in the middle of a cinematic adventure here. So, um, you know, people always also ask me if I put it sideways or if I put it up and down. And to be honest with you, that variable really doesn't matter. What I tend to do is try to hide it, you know, um, because these things don't look the greatest in fish tanks. Some people care, some people don't care. Like maybe here you'd put it behind this driftwood, but that's not even a good spot for this tank. So what I, what I, where I'll probably put it in this tank, because you see this tank from like mainly this view over here, I'll probably put it on this side. And I tend to put the heaters up and down. That way when you're doing water changes, that you know when the water lowers you're not going to burn out the heating element because when you change the water you need to unplug your aquarium heater if the heater is not submerged anymore so all you do is suck it to the glass a lot of times depending on the quality of suction cup they're going to come undone it kind of sucks it's just it is what it is there's better suction cups than others i have suctioned this little holder to the side of the glass and you can kind of see that the heater is on now. Usually the heater has a light on it. That'll, that will alert you when the heater is actually on and running. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this heater to about 78 degrees, actually 77, because some heaters are actually more powerful than what the thermostats call for. And what you wanna do is get a thermometer and test the heater. That's a huge deal. When you first set up the aquarium, you're obviously gonna want to uh, you know test what you know compare it compare the degrees of the water to the thermostat that was hard to say um and uh how we do that is we use a temperature gun and what we'll do over the next couple hours is we will continuously check the the temperature of the water to see if it's at what we have the thermostat set at and uh what you do is you set accordingly and sometimes you may find that your heater isn't keeping up with what temperature you need your tank at. Uh, you probably need more power. It is a, a general rule of thumb is you want five watts per every one gallon of aquarium water to heat the water to temperature. But there's a couple variables a lot of people don't talk about. Like uh, if you keep your house really cold at like 60 degrees, the heater uh, these heaters only work at a temperature, you know, like a guide of the five watts per gallon of water is if you keep 
your house at room temperature like an average. So you're going to have to sit there and test if your heater is keeping up. You can't just plop it and drop it. So yeah, I guess um, that's about as easy as it comes to setting up an aquarium heater. It doesn't matter where you put it. You could put it sideways, you can put it up and down. I prefer up and down because when you do a water change, that way it doesn't, uh, I don't have to turn it off. Ow, bit me. Um, uh, put it wherever you want, put it near your flow if possible. If it doesn't work, um, uh, do what you can. It's not a huge deal, it does help. And uh, it's as easy as that. Also, I know there's trolls waiting to tell me, Chris, you should be using a temperature controller. And what essentially that is, is it's a thermostat in line to your aquarium heater. And uh, it, it, it prohibits your heater from overheating. Uh, that'll be a whole other separate video. But I would say a majority of the hobby is not using those. And um, yeah, you're gonna have to do a deep dive on those if you have really expensive fish or uh, really care about them and don't want your heater failing. Um, so yeah, guys, this is just my basic guide on how to set up an aquarium heater. Thanks, and please consider subscribing. I also have a main channel, Palmer Aquatic. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.